Gopi Warrior's poem, Serengeti, is about the nature of universal love between eternal Shiva and Shakti. At the material level, from the drifts of tectonic plates to the transcendence from karma of every individual. Serengeti Anuradha, as usual, you flee speechless, an antelope in the vast and beautiful plains of Serengeti. Your large eyes impersonate fear of approaching lions. But there is no pride, only a herd of elephants led by your own son Ganapathy, born from your body's dust, elephant head Shiva given, merely seeking play with you. As a child you loved, absorbed and learnt from these gentle animals of pre-speech autistic days, the circumference of your own silence. You came before as Parvati from this very part in Gondwana as continental drift, feet first, and touched me as a mountain. You took your companion bird from the crest of Kilimanjaro and having dropped your third breast on the coast of Zanzibar at Unguja, floated fast as a landmass to Kailash, the Miro, and to me. All because you had heard in your left ear the word, the word that was God, Omkara, primal mantra of Veda, secret link of man's evolution from monkey. Om is fire, light, the word that triggers Muladhara's move to man in the Kundalini. Even now you find speech difficult, let alone talking of love. Pre-Vedic priests still use your genetically encoded bird sound in ritual. Families are only fellow passengers on red buses changed at the bus stops of lifetimes. But your dharma remains in each incarnation, sacrosanct, to be fulfilled or carried on enfeebled shoulders as time passes and yugas weaken. Each day you are away foolishly, another bomb will drop, people die, the governments fall, shares collapse and banks flop. The aftermath of each rejection. Anuradha, understand, only when I am inside you will the Richter stop.